<laughs> I do love me some good wordplay. It's some of my favorite kinds of play. It's all some about good the word wordplay, all about the sound of my voice. Anyone else know what I'm referencing? No? Good. Hello. No. No, I thought you were just referencing your luxurious, dulcet tones. No, Jason nah, Mraz. Really? There's a song. Jason. It's called Wordplay. Oh, cool. I'll have to look it up. That'll be my 22nd YouTube tab. <laughs> I'm, I'm truly not sure you need to, but hey, Bubbles. Mm -hmm. Would you like to tell a joke? Yeah. Did you hear the one about the broken pencil? I no. didn't. Well, it's pointless. So get to it. Oh. <laughs> uh, I think I told that joke two days ago, so this is the best part. I, I sent it to you like a week ago because I heard it on a podcast. The same podcast where I got the phrase small opinions on weak things from. That is quite um, a resource that you have at your beck and call of good ideas. That is some um, that's good shit. Hmm. I'm a jerk with one of my cards. Oh yeah? Well, I play Swords of Revealing Light. Well, I play Swords of Revealing Light. Well, I play uh, Pot of Greed in response. Well, you know what? I play yeah. Didn't Say Please! That is one of the best names of a magic card. Like... So the most recent card that's in that vein they printed was called Saw It Coming. It's like, they just decided to be really rude with the names of counter spells, and I love it. I mean, like, I, I hope that someday we get to chill out so we can play Legends of Runeterra, and I can show you how much I enjoy Deny, because it's a counter spell, and Karma has voice lines when you play it, and one of her voice lines is, No. No. Yeah, just just no, like your know. opponent like plays a spell, it's like destroy all creatures, and you go, no, no. I'm no. Sure mustered up the most powerful spell that he could think of. Jace feigned interest. No is a full sentence. Yeah. <laughs> Okie doke. I think by most grammatical standards, it isn't. I knew you were like, gonna. I knew you were gonna nitpick it. I was just like, I, like I'm gonna let it go. Like, like in English, like I would say it is, but like, because like, I don't actually have a problem with making a command a full sentence. But I think like, if you actually submitted that into like Oxford, they'd be like, no. Yeah, but they would also be like, what, were you too busy sleeping with women? <laughs> we're halfway home. That's right, I'm insulting the people who decide arbitrarily about how things are supposed to be used instead of just, you know, using them. Oh, I wish I... You ever, wait... you ever realize that you should have drawn, um, like, something on a different portion of the napkin? You know? Yeah. It's like, oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's wrap those drawings. Just hope whoever got one of my, uh, of my prompts doesn't go for the super low hanging fruit. Though I would accept it. Uh oh. <laughs> I did not finish. I almost finished it. Okay, so now let's bring it all home. Give it a title. And a snazzy tagline. <laughs> Alright, someone come up with a snag snappy tagline for me. Go. I'll take it.
<laughs> well, I'm gonna run out of time. Father Time is our greatest enemy. One we cannot outrace. I wonder if he has access to the Speed Force. Tick tock, time's running out. Alrighty then. No. Yeah, he definitely has access to the Speed Force. No. Now, each of you will present your creation. All right. Drum roll. Who's coming up first? Depends on the. Hey, it's me. Ah, uh, there we go. I can't see fusion. <laughs> Here's the thing, but I can't. What? What do I do? I can't. I can't see him. Well, to be honest with you, I've got something that I might not be able to see him. But you know what? I'll do something that'll be that'll bring us closer. That'll really, really start. You know, bridging the distance. Come here, you. Touching me, touching you. <laughs> you can't see me right now, but my hand is correct. Next strike. Yeah, I had so many other things I wanted to write in, like reach on through to the other side and uh, Kalima. Oh, Kalima! If there was a second tagline, that I mean, done. I had no time left. To start again. So, uh, again. reach on through to the other side. Just grab a hold right through your computer screen. I want you all to lay witness to one of the better drawings I've made. Thank you. Yeah, that's solid. Bubbles! I will present. So I have a big problem. I have trouble climbing the corporate ladder. See, this is like an issue. Because, like, see, I'm not that cutthroat. I really don't like being, like, I don't really like being mean to get what I want. I don't like being dishonest. And I really suck in office environments. So, like, the corporate ladder was really tough. But I got the idea. I'm going to start farming. Because then all I have to climb are actual ladders. You know, because I got to get to the top of the barn and, you know, like, I'm actually pretty short, so I can't actually get on the tractor without a ladder. Um, but also, if I farm on my own land, I'm on my own boss. I'm my own boss. And then there's no corporate ladder to climb. So, like, I'm just going to be a farmer and then I've solved the problem. Look, ladders. Who knew becoming a farmer would help you defeat shoots and ladders? Search light! <laughs> uh, can't avoid the looming dread of sea monsters. What do we do? Oh, you know what? I've got just the solution. I call it the dumping barge. What does it do? Well, it's quite simple. We just get these large ships, and we take all the stuff that we don't like, we dump it in the ocean. But over time, the toxicity level of the ocean will get so horrifyingly bad that everything in it will die. And what does that include? You get it. Sea monsters. That waste, dump it in the ocean. Is it radioactive? Dump it in the ocean. No hazard? Just dump it in the ocean. I watch as everything slowly but surely dies. We're already halfway there. What you know, we'll finish the job and get and as a side effect, we'll get rid of all the garbage that's in the landfills. Including the earth. Very quick, I have a question. What happens if our pollution is the thing that's causing the monsters? More pollution in. Ah. Uh, Gotta make it toxic enough. Gotta make it so toxic that it goes beyond the you've mutated to just you die. <laughs> 
All right, I need to mention that uh, we used to throw containers of radioactive bar well, radioactive barrels into the ocean, and a couple of them uh, rose up because of buoyancy issues, and the uh, Air Force was required to come and strafe them with bullets so until they sank. Damn. I need a way to get out of jury duty, so I'm going to shift the focus. I'm going to uh, end this nightmare... Uh, through the most direct and shortest method possible. Uh, so while I'm in jury duty, I'm just going to whip out and bam, I'm going to shoot the witness. All of a sudden, <laughs> there is no... Uh, I will not trap the jury. The jury, and jury duty will be jury uh, I'm free. <laughs> oh, it's so good. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how I follow that one up. Uh, anything. Uh, yes, yes, thank you. Um, I can never find a good time to do the one. You know, I have a solution for you. You can just do it when you get home. No, you can't do it then. You got chores you need to do. You can go to a club and do it then. No, you can't do it when you're over at the club. There's just too many people. Hmm. This is a real brain teaser, guys. Wait, got it. Oh, and morphosize into a worm. Then we'll always be doing the worm. The first things you gotta do, you first gotta get your own cocoon nest. This can be as simple as making your own cocoon nest or just going to the nearest uh, wholesale store and buying yourself a nice sleeping bag that zips all the way up. A couple of little food items in there and just enjoy it as you're uh, metamorphosizing. And eventually become the worm. I have to worry about doing any the worm anymore because you'll always be doing the worm when you're a worm. Uh, become the worm that Franz Kafka knows you can be. That is a nice direction that I didn't expect with that prompt I entered. So uh, I liked the creativity with this one. Uh, yeah, yeah, I like it. Reminded me of Metapod. It is May or may not have been affected by uh, us originally from a day or two ago. Your <laughs> inspiration comes from wherever you find it. All good. Home videos. <clears throat> home videos. Really? They're home movies. <laughs> oh. Franz, Franz Kafka rock opera. Let's see which inventions drove to drop yeah. Hey R2. Is that a is that a left-handed mug? That left-handed mug. Uh is uh, yours. I think yours is, is yes. Yeah. Let's see how you I did not know that mug. Well that's the thing. It's yeah. just on the left side, which means that from this direction it would assume that the person holding it has is left handed. Good job. Hey, you succeeded. <laughs> With votes from everybody. Oh, Word to Big Bird. Yo. Are you Big Bird? Sorry, I wish I was Big Bird. You know, if I had that kind of energy um, in life, so you know, I feel like that'd help me more. Okay, the it. Big Boyd. You guys don't want to dump all the garbage into the ocean. Yeah, yours was the most dystopian this time. But there won't be any monsters. <laughs> it wasn't me. Wasn't the one that put in the, uh... the prompt fusion. Let's see. Time to do some market research. I mean, think about the second problem. You should run it up more. I wish I could always be in the hip and with it crowd. I, I really was hoping that people would use both of my problems personally so I wouldn't have to think of actual answers for mine. Gotta get those brain juices flowing.
that way there. Oh, can I draw this well? How much time do I have left? Oh, God! Ah! This drawing does not look like what I wanted it to. Me neither. It is just, I am objectively uh, bad at drawing. Big. Oh. Seven. I just submitted it. I pressed submit as it ended. Uh, that was near button timing. Um, I used the speed force to make it in this round. Are you sure you didn't use the space force? Uh, I wish I could go to space. That seems like it'd be a cool Thursday afternoon activity. As long as it's safe. I don't want it to blow up. But if it doesn't blow up? This will be an interesting exercise for me connecting the dots to sell you all on my stupidly patented invention. Um, I hope I'm up for the task. Take all of my money right now, Fusion. 911? No. Just call um, 562. That is um, a secret speed dial for... Um, my dad, he'll come pick you up when you're in a gym. Just dial 562. Call my dad now. If you start with 555, you know you're safe, right? That, that's when you want to be safe. But All right. Dad, you want to be so, wild. I Five. have to show the, so I wish I could always be in the hip and with it crowd. And I have to show you the drawing first because I have to explain what it is because it does not look like what I wanted it to. It's supposed to be brunch, and that's supposed to be a plate with an avocado and a mango and a mimosa. But, like, that didn't come out. So, I'm not really great at socializing all the time. Sometimes that's hard. But, from what I've heard, people my age like to get brunch and to drink mimosas. Which are champagne and orange juice, which I will admit, tastes really good. But all I got to do is just do what the other people like doing. And I won't lie, like breakfast food is great and you can give me an omelet whenever I want. So it's not like this is a super high cost and eventually I'll figure it out. So if you want to get brunch when it's safe, um, let me know and we can have some mimosas and some eggs. And from what I hear, then I'll be hit. Because people like mangoes and avocados and mimosas, right? Right? Yeah, those sound excellent. <laughs> Searchlight! Who's B? And oh, there's something about trends. Fashion. Is that they're cyclical? Constant, things constantly come in and out of that. By the way, I always ride the crest of that wave with the fashion stasis pod. Just simply take your body, put it into suspended animation inside of this pod, and the computer will determine when your favorite fashion trends are coming back into style. It will awaken you. For your time to shine in the king of the fashion rides for a new yet familiar fashion future. Dang. 
That's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> that's a crazy way to fusion. Wow. <laughs> well, I wish I could always be in the hip and with the crowd. So I decided. Oh, you know what? The the best way is to get it and to be hip. So I'll, I'll show you guys what I mean. Um, to become hip and it, you just become hip and you have your dog, which is it. Your dog is always it and you're hip. And then between the two of you, you are the hip and with it crowd. Um, guaranteed magnet for anybody. They'll want to pet the dog because that dog is it and you're hip. It's a winning combo. R2? What is it, I think so. You know, I always wish I could be in the hip and with it crowd. It's just as time goes on, it's harder and harder to keep up. Uh, but luckily, I found a solution recently. You know what I call it? I call it social media. Let's jump on to the new social media craze and uh, find some good friends who are always talking about interesting things. As you're listening to them, you'll become more hip and with it with them. You'll understand memes. You'll understand the news that they care about. You'll understand what it's like to be back in school again without ever having to worry about going back in school. So, Find the latest social media app and see what everyone else is talking about. That could be an icon that I could see on a social media. Yeah, yeah, you I, did you did that well. Yeah, it, thank you. It, it's it, really good. Reminds me of social media and a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Nero. So, I wish I could always be in the hip and with it crap. So instead of having one prompt, why don't, or sorry, one answer, why don't we have two half answers? Cause you know, life is hard. And I was gonna use a title, but the title didn't fit. So I switched my answer, which didn't really make sense. So it was originally going to be the fountain of eternal youth. And then I was like, wait a second, Whoa. I have a better idea. What better could keep us with the hip and with it crowd forever? That's right. It's a fountain of Kool-Aid! That's right, you can tell it's cool because it doesn't say the words right. That's correct. Daring, hello fellow kids, I too yeet the games. Uh, are we going to have a, a, a rad time? It's solid, my friends. <laughs> it sounds pretty groovy. All right. Don't drink the Kool-Aid? Yeah, but I spelled it differently, which means it's fine. Yeah, yeah, it's the Kool-Aid. Yeah, well, that clearly means that it's rad. And or other things that people say. Uh, casting mad shade, you might say. Or, as Fusion might say, fade. Uh, excuse me, as Fusion might say, bro. <laughs> That, that was a bit of a throwback. <laughs> it wasn't really a deep cut. It's just not a cut we've made in a while. <laughs> right. <laughs> I voted for you all so fast. I'm just like, yeah, take my money. I gotta say, I, I really I, thought that was a person. Your fountain. I mean, I tell you what. I tried to do a thing. I ran out of time. It looked somewhat right. donkey cock like to me. So, uh, excuse me. <laughs> he's finally back to kick some Kool Aid. Kick some tail. Huh, DK. Donkey I, 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 Kong. Which is a rap. It's a good. It's a good song. Good I fucks job. with it. Whoa, that's weird. I don't think you should do that. You don't think I should fucks with it with DK d -d 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 Donkey Kong? Oh, well, I was thinking you probably shouldn't have sex with Donkey Kong. Oh, I like, mean, let me live my life. Come on. Because he's, like, not a human. A totally original <laughs> social media app orderly has failed. Damn. Yes, it was disorderly. But, um, Tisk? Nice job, Searchlight. You won the trophy with a golf player at the top right. of some reason. I, have we ever commented on that? The wit, the patently stupid 
trophy has a golfer at the top of the trophy. What is the joke there? What or what is the reference? It seems arbitrary, and I must know the answer right meow. Right meow. Yeah, right meow. Damn, it doesn't seem anyone in the room knows it. Mystery will continue. The mystery will continue until we stop caring, and then... I don't know, can mysteries continue when you don't care about the mystery enough? We will never stop caring. You know, th there is so much caring going around in this circle. Like, our friend Bubbles is a Care Bear. If there are enough text Whoa. limits, he'd be Care Bear Bubbles. Are you saying, as long as I don't stare, is all I gotta say? No, uh, you don't stare. You just care. You're a Care Bear bubble. Um, I do care about each and every one of you. Oh, Granny, you're going to show up real work. Look at all this care. Been lurking for a while. Oh, there we go. Real work uh, really cares. That, you know, really is implied in his name. Really work. What um, would you like me to share with you? Because I can show you I care by sharing. Oh. Good sharing is caring. So you right, do we want to play work. another round of this, or would we like to move on? Yeah, uh, I can do another round. I'll be back in two seconds. Our two will be back in two seconds, no doubt using the speed force to quickly run his errand, and then uh, we will proceed with a round of patently stupid inventions. Um, yes. Oh, real work, you've got it. That is the content that we are here to provide. To care, share, once in a while scare, and we always dare. Um, but do we live in a lair? Or do we live in the air? Or do we live at a fair? Excuse me, I'm living on a prayer! Oh, uh, that's a fair. <laughs> you live with a mare. Hell so, yeah! So, like... Are you saying, like, a mayor, like a person whose name's mayor? Or, like, because I have lived with multiple people with that name in my life. Or, really? yeah, or do we live... Uh, yeah, you met both of them. Um, <laughs> I meant the animal. Or, yeah, I, I was mean, like, or do you live with a mayor like a horse? Was my yeah, there you go. The answer, a horse. A horse, of course. Yo, I am not a horse. Yet. A horse using the speed force is a funny idea that I cannot get out of my mind now. Um, but also the space force. There is a horse on the space force. You no. know, if if we let ourselves run wild, we could rhyme all the time. No, and no, we couldn't. <laughs> it'd be no, a real work. I have no idea where you live nor who you are, but I will donate one cent to your campaign. Real work, I wish you would be the mayor of my hometown. My hometown political scene is so uh, strangely crazy. Um, we could use you, or they could use you. I don't live there anymore, but yes, um, I wish you the best. So, have you ever decided to run for office? Oh. I have. So, uh, I had one week in my life where I really wanted to become the president. I realized on the eighth day that it was a dumb idea. But for a full seven days, I was ready to commit to the top. Um, and then I gave up. Yo, so I actually cut my foot on a chair this week. And then I had to get a tennis shot. Lo siento, senor. That does suck. I'm sorry. I hope you're I mean, so now I gotta buy new chairs. But like, new chairs? Because they got like, because the screws coming out, right? Like they're not safe to sit on. Oh right. Oh yeah. I guess I didn't ask like how that happened in the first place. Like what the screws from? So I guess okay. Yeah. So I was sitting on my chair and I like didn't have shoes on because shoes suck. And then um, and so. Like, I only wear shoes when I'm outside because of safety and because of, like, foot support. 
I don't wear them when I'm in my apartment. So I had like had my shoe, like, you know, like sometimes you sit on your chair with like one leg down and one leg on the chair, you know? And I wanted to get out of the chair because I can't sit down all the time because like human being. So I scraped my foot on the screw that was coming out of the chair and I did get screwed, which was the worst. And then yeah. I got a tetanus shot, but I, that was fine. My foot wasn't actually hurt. I just got a cut on a, um, on a metal. So you have to get a tetanus shot because like, I don't want to get locked jaw. Yeah, good call. Good call. I'm glad you took care of yourself. Yeah, screwed, oh. screwed but not name I've heard in a long time. Oh, proper nerdy is cashing it in to tell a joke. Bubbles, can you supply us with a funny, a funny one-liner about the apocalypse? Uh, yo, any good apocalypse jokes? Well, I was gonna go. Uh, let me look up Apocalypse. Uh, what? No, sorry. I usually don't go with that dark, but... Yo, but I do gotta say, I make Apocalypse jokes like there's no tomorrow. There you go. <laughs> I was just gonna go with the old classic. You know, every mushroom clad has a silver lining. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. I was going through all of my puns, all like ten of them, to see if any of them had like any sort of apocalypse in it. No one pun no pun intended. Yes, yes, I've heard that a billion times. <laughs> and if it comes from me, it's most likely reused a thousand times, you know that. Where do the other 999 million times come from? Uh, probably someone else. I suspect you have been masquerading as every other person in my life repeating the joke to me. That would take too much time. What, did, what did you... <laughs> what did you... Dig his grave in the masquerade? What did my joy? Oh, I miss that. I miss getting to sing that song with you. That was like, like part of the reason, not the only reason, but part of the reason I wanted the, us to go to that concert was so that I could oh. see that song live with you. <laughs> and I like that song specifically. I greatly enjoyed this. Yes, with you. <laughs> Imagine that. Hey. <laughs> I made a playlist of songs that I listen to almost every day. I didn't today because I didn't have time. But and that song is on it. It's quite an eclectic playlist. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> eclectic playlists are my favorite. <laughs> Screw having a theme or a, or, a, or a cadence or a consistency. I'm all up for the mood whiplash, baby. I mean. Most of these songs are not that happy, but I really don't feel happy, except for the song Birthday Party by AJR, which is hysterical, and you should all look it up. It's so funny. Uh, I'll make my 23rd open tab of YouTube videos to check out. His song by a just born infant is the perspective, and it's so funny. <laughs> Okay, I think I have my presentation on deck. I have my drawing, I have my title, and I have my tagline all woven together in a tapestry. I have of, uh, a bunch of yarn that could have been woven into a tapestry, but I threw it on the ground. Hey man, that yarn might be like a good rug. Um, as is, that could be like something totally All right. different. Now, now I'm going to say this, cause I'm going to hope that any of you know what I'm talking about. Searchlight, you're out of time. Uh, uh, exactly. That's not my dad. That's a cell phone. 
All right, R2. <laughs> I shall present. Please, please do. Uh, I require a very fancy butler to teach me Kung Fu. Oh. I need both of these really bad. One, like, I'm just in dire need of a butler. And who wouldn't like butler who could teach you Kung Fu and keep you safe if anyone tries to come and kidnap you? If he's teaching you Kung Fu, of course he knows Kung Fu. Uh, if you need some trees chopped in half, you can just whip out those uh, muscular arms and just chop them down. Do I have the place for you to go to? It's called the Penny Academy. I just took a nice little picture of the outside of it here. It is a beautiful martial arts studio that you can come in and see all of these butlers who are training in the art of Kung Fu. You don't have to train with us here. You can instead hire one of these butlers to be your butler. And for a little extra cost, you can have this butler teach you Kung Fu. Why doesn't that sound like a great deal to you? Come on down to the Penny Academy. Our sure. steel hires out butlers. Sounds like this penny's worth your time. Hey. Hey. <laughs> that was a relatively, like, a C minus. Really is a penny worth place. Okay. All right. Okay. Passing grade. I need to get cool fast. And I've actually learned how to do this being taught by my friend Fusion. Uh oh. All I gotta do is do a flip. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> can we can we talk about how great it is that you're not like flexing like you're gonna jump you're just like yes i can imagine you just not moving just literally rotate about an axis and just like you did it i'm glad you did that versus using the speed force well uh, searchlight i'd like to i'd like to thank you for giving me by prompt uh i suspect my neighbor is secretly a super herp with a basement lair oh my goodness well, you see. Oh, uh, never mind. Oh, well, I tell you what. Thank you. Because, you know I don't what? Know what? Super herp is. Here's the thing. I know. Only one thing can out derp the herp. Stop <laughs> that perp. He's a twerp. Become the arch enemy. Super derp. That's right. How will you stop me now, super herp? When I, super derp, am here to derp the twerp. Uh, amazing. When you misspell things, I will do this. Magnificent. I love it. Alright, I will prevent. So here's my problem. <laughs> I'm afraid of choking on spiders while I sleep, and for bubbles, do not worry. There are no drawn spiders in my prompt. Good, good. So, yeah, these spiders, man. I don't want to choke on them while I sleep, so I figured studying this secret art which will ward off the spiders and also enhance my life significantly i give you this long lost art form sleep jazz you just go to bed playing the trombone and you're just belting out some tunes which will use sound waves to reverberate the spiders that would crawl in those bastards and you're doing it while being funky fresh. This way, you can keep the funk out by being funky. Um, you heard it here first. Sleep jazz. All right, gang. It's time to pick your favorite. You know, I, I, I'm a little bit sad that you didn't reference the art form known as jazz fusion. Jazz. Ah. Uh, see? Uh, see? Uh, <laughs> That would have been on point. I'll have to keep this in mind for the future. Um, okay, so oh, we can pick all three. All right, that's dope. Yep. Let's because searchlight did not make anything in time. Damn. Um, I was in bio break mode. Bio break. That sounds pretty intense, bro. Almost as intense as doing a flip while standing. Yeah, literally, this dude is just, like, standing, does a flip, and then is standing again. Well, yeah. Sir, yeah, no, it's literally, like, the best part is, it's like a JPEG image where, like, your head doesn't move at all. You just rotate about an axis, and then you continue yep. to lift. Mm -hmm. And you're like, 
I flipped! And I'd be like, you absolutely did, you madman. And then you're like, I am become cool. I... I am become cool. Yeah. Word. Word. A bird, bird, bird. A bird is the word. Super derp! Super derp strikes again. <laughs> I voted for it. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Anyway, real work, you have a vowel. <laughs> Fusion, I gotta say. From our that one, initials. That one was the gift that kept on giving. That joke was one of the best jokes we've made in this game. What's that? Flip? <laughs> yeah. It just like went yeah. so well done. That it keeps on giving. Market research time. Oh, it's me again. Be more well, creative okay. for the work. All right, let's see. Um, boom, boom, <laughs> boom. <laughs> All right. Here's our problem, lads. Okay. I wish I knew what it was like to be the mayor. Hmm. <laughs> I wish this my screen would work. This mayor has become immensely fat. Hashtag relatable. Yo. We're at the halfway oh, point. Gotta hit the undo button there a couple times. Let's see. All right. Eighty percent of the search bar is done. Uh can I okay. Uh, uh oh, drawing time's almost done. Okay, time for titles. Yeah, real work. They're hashtag major problems. Wonder how many I actually wonder how many times, uh... I won't major. lie. You had that. major problems. It took you a long time to pick a major. Which was, like, try what I was trying to say. And then I realized yeah. that it's, like, really insulted you. So, I'm no, sorry. That's funny. Uh, no, that's fun. That's funny. It, it is true. I couldn't pick a major for <laughs> a year and a half. It was my problem. <laughs> but then, I did. Yep. Yep. So, my first major, I was just so close to being done with it that that's why I got it. I didn't even want it. I just, by the time I graduated, I just was only two classes left by the end of sophomore year, so I finished. Be halfway done. Try again. My major until I was there for. Oh, that's weird. I feel like some play most places would be like, yeah, no, nope. say it right away. So that's weird. Semester. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> ah, talk about that. I have made my submission. Search light! What this brand new revolutionary video that's never been tried before. The city game. You get to build a city and be the mayor. And you complain why no matter how many times you make everything high. 
city zoning, all people seem to do is build goddamn farms and like only like two to three story buildings at most. Uh, you truly get to know what's like to be the mayor, like messing around with the taxes and then watching as everyone complains. The taxes are too high, and then when you lower them, they complain that the city services have turned to shit. Uh, and of course, the best part of all, you get to force them to use your totally awesome public transportation system. And totally am not protecting. <laughs> are <Artu>. too! <sighs> Shall I present? Now, I hear a lot of people say that they wish they knew what it was like to be mayor. And honestly, I think that there is a very easy way for them to. It's, it's not that hard, actually. All you need to do is just run a kindergarten. Stewie, Stewie, stop building that death ray over there. I told you for the thousandth time that that isn't allowed. Maggie, Maggie, stop. You can't, you can't go and start climbing out the window. Just, no, 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 cookie time is in five minutes. You can't have any cookies right now. No, 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 you can only have one cookie, kids. You can't have five. Oh, hey. Ah. How is everyone doing this? Wait, okay. I really think adults behave any better than those little brats? Yes. You would hope. Who is your father? <laughs> Yeah, but like, no. You're right. You're right. I will talk about my problem. I wish I knew what it was like to be the mayor. Um, and you know what's funny is I just looked at my uh, presentation and I realized my title got cut off. That is some hashtag mayor problems right there. So that's the part of politics. You just got to roll with the punches, baby. Live time. So... All right, here's the thing. The way to be the mayor is to say shit in a public forum. You just get in front of City Hall and say, bruh, as you can clearly see in legible writing on the right side, and then say stuff to a crowd and let them see what they think of your opinions and how to rule things. And that is like the average day for a mayor, obviously, is to, you know, get up and talk and say some shit and... You're talking about the mayor issues, and hopefully people resonate, and then you will know what it's like to I'm, be a mayor. I'm a little sad you didn't reference, I have a mic, so you will listen to everything I say. But, <laughs> all right, so, God. I <coughs> wish I knew what it was like to be the mayor, but, but how do you become a mayor? It's so complicated. Well, let me give you a quick two-stepped pro process in order to become a mayor all right you'll never believe it the secret they don't want you to know first you find the powerpuff girls and then you just ask them to fix all of your problems quick powerpuff girls there's a monster raging the city don't do you do anything do you have you done anything what is the point? No, you guys will fix it. You children, right? Uh, you'll be done like 10 minutes. I'm going to sit here with my oddly attractive assistant who's incredibly intelligent and just like chat, I guess. So it is very important that I say this. Bubbles. Yep. Yeah. I know. Oh. Yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I went so for like... something that I thought wasn't low-hanging fruit. There you go. Bye. I should I go mean, back. I, I didn't think I was going to be the one, first one to make this joke, but... I mean, I was. if it's about real work, then yes, you were always no. going to be. All right. I wish I knew what it was like to be mayor. And this is all you got to do. Shout corrupt orders at people. All yeah. you got to do to be, realize what it's like to be Mount is just shout, Hey, you, steal that thing. Hey, you, cover that thing up. Hey, you, kill that person. And then it'll be bad, right? Like, nobody trusts them. They all suck. They're just like, here, you're going to frame that person for that crime that I actually did. And then you're going to frame that person for what he did for covering it up, right? That's all mayors do. All they do is a bunch of awful shit. And then they cover it up. And then you, and then they don't get in trouble. You just got to shout corrupt order. So, like, mayors suck. Everybody in power sucks. Don't balance the checkbook. Preach, sister. I kind of 
I kind of would love if we referenced hashtag current events and went, oh, steal, kill, frame people, steal a minor pen. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, that is right, you kids. Yeah. Yeah. Powerpuff Girls. There's this been... was a well done round. Like, you, you, we came up with some pretty creative answers. I like it. I like the creativity on display <laughs> from you creative, um, Caillou's. You creative Caillou's for an alliteration there. How dare you um, call me Caillou? Uh, that yeah, that was, wasn't a great show. show. Thing, I'm sorry. That, was, that wasn't Take a great show. There's been a bug living in my room for a few days, and I want to kill it, but I feel like it's not bothering me, so I, I feel a little bad. But it's so big, and it flies sort of near me sometimes, so I'm worried. Can you put it in, like, a cup and move it outside? Um, I'm on the second floor, so I, I guess I could, but it'd be, like, be all fluttering around. <laughs> I, yeah, I, yeah. Name it and you won't feel bit. Ah, oh, fuck. If I name all right. Um, uh, I'm gonna call. My bugs are just named Little Bud. Little Bud. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that. All right, Little Bud. I've told you that I've seen Little Bug fly so, a couple times. Do you know what kind of bug like it is? Like a year ago, like that. Um, the bug is like a. Uh, It might be a stink bug, but it's also like skinnier, I think, than what a stink bug usually is. So, is it mostly crawling around or does it fly around? Uh, it does both. It's just crawling on my uh, window curtains right now, but I have seen it flying before. It makes a buzzing sound, and it's well, pretty odd. I mean, like, you can, you could just try to trap it and take it outside if you really don't want to kill it. I guess, yeah, yeah. So I, that I, one's just kind of a like, you have three options, which are either, you know, put up with it slash deal with it, take it outside and let it go, or murder it. Yeah, I'm just trying to think, how how would you trap it? Because it is I mean, like you... Here's the thing, if you can get it to crawl onto a piece of paper, you just take the piece of paper downstairs. If you can't do that, then you'll need a cup or something. Um, depending yeah. on what type it is, you can put some sugar water down, um, what you do from there is you take, like, a mason jar or bung or something, take a piece of paper, cone it up so that there's only a tiny hole near the bottom, and put that cone into the mug with the sugar water at the bottom, it'll fly into, through the cone downwards to go to the sugar water. Then it cannot fly back up because, uh, it won't be able to get back through the this hole afterwards. Is... This is very complicated for, like, you could just get a bowl, put water in it, put Dawn in it, and it's sweet. They'll fly into the Dawn and then drown. Hmm. <laughs> Real work. Yeah. You're driving you my way. I'm touching the bug. Oh. I'm like, uh, I'm like Misty from Pokemon when it comes to bugs. You know, I get all, <laughs> all squirmy. Bugs just ain't. That bugs bug me out, you know? But, all right, I appreciate you all uh, humoring my uh, my crazy side. I get misty when I think of bugs. I mean, yeah. I'm, I can't I'm a little that. insulted, Bubbles, that you didn't immediately jump onto the train and go, ah, I understand what you're saying, then you're a red-white fan. <laughs> misty or moisty? Definitely misty. Moisty with bugs? What is the? Yeah, 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 yeah. I have I have a really. I'm sorry. I was just like I kind of spaced out. I wasn't really listening, so I didn't get to make the 